what's going on you guys, it's your boy Redstone9x here, and welcome back to another command block tutorial video. Now today, we are going to be doing an infinite dispenser command. And which basically is mostly just summoning items that, that you put, have it fall into a hopper and then into the dispenser. So let me show you what I mean by that. So right here I have made this big contraption for which I have the command that summons items literally from out of nowhere which will fall into this hopper and then into the dispenser thus you have infinite ammo so yeah this is more of like a simple way to like do that sort of thing in 1.13 because basically I can't find any other commands that would be you know more fancier to say okay let me get a test subject to show you and why is it not summoning exactly do I have difficulty peaceful on? Huh, it's already difficulty normal, so why is he not summoning? Ah, oh, forget it, I'll just summon it myself. So watch what happens when I flick this lever. Watch your arrows then are being summoned out of nowhere falling right into this hopper. Which will come into the center. Thus, we have infinite ammo. Because you can literally just have a have a man block on repeating and that way it will just infinitely keep spewing out arrows and not stop at all. You can literally do this with like other types of items like um fireballs, snowballs, or you can even make it into like I don't know, an infinite dispenser that spews out the items that you want, like let's say diamonds or other types of ores that way. You can make it into that way too. It doesn't have to be like, you know, like an infinite can like a cannon with infinite infinite ammo, if that makes sense. So before we get into this video guys, as always, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And turn on notifications so you won't miss a video. Okay, now let's begin today's video. Okay, guys, so what you need is a lever, a uh, command block, and make sure you have it on repeating. And like a repeater, redstone, a sticky piston, redstone block, dispenser, hopper, and redstone comparator. So. So yeah, this does involve a little bit more redstone for this to work, or at least for me, how I planned it out. So let's put the lever on here, and we're going to first build out the mechanism. So, so we're going to draw a line of redstone going along like this, and we're going to make like a redstone clock, like so. If you guys have been watching my redstone tutorial videos, like, like I'd say like a couple of months ago back, then you would know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, go check out my channel. I have a playlist of all the redstone tutorials that I made redstone clocks in, so be sure to check that out. Anyway, so when we press pull the lever, it makes the redstone clock like that. And then we're going to make a trail up to this dispenser right here. So. At least something like that. Actually, let me get a better building material. Iron. Okay, so you have to have the piston like this and the redstone block on it. And make sure it's one, there's a one block gap in between them. Otherwise, that it's going to activate it right away and we don't want that to happen. And then you're going to have the redstone come up here and then have a repeater 
right here. And then redstone going along like that. For now, we're just going to set the repeater on a one tick delay. Okay, now that we've done that, we got to put the hopper on top. Like so. And now, let's put in the command for it. So let me get rid of this stuff. So I'm just going to copy and paste the command since I already have it. Or I guess not, because... Yeah. So yeah. Never mind, I don't have it in my uh, clipboard, so I'm just going to type it for you. So listen closely for what you have to type in. So you have to do slash summon minecraft colon item then space then put the coord that we need the coordinates for the for the at least for the hopper of where it's going to land so in my case it's negative 344 7 and 215 So we're going to come back here, and actually we're going to um, change the Y value instead of 7, maybe to 11, per se, so that we can see it up high more. So, so yeah, negative 344, 11, and then 2, 1, 5. And then you're going to do this kind of bracket, then put ID, colon, and then put quotation marks. Minecraft arrow for example and then another colon I'm not colon expo quotation mark a comma then count colon one and then double end brackets Just like that, or at least just one bracket. Press done, and when we pull the lever. Wait, what? Unable to summon entity, what did I do wrong? Hmm. Yeah, let me check the other command block. Okay, um, maybe because this needs to be capitalized. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, I see what I'm missing. Sorry about that, guys. Apparently, when you put in, um, mine, apparently I forgot to put in an, an, another bracket, and then I have to put item, and then colon, and then it works. So yeah, I probably should have fixed that. But yep, that's pretty much the command for how to summon it. And again, I'll leave a link in the, not a link, I'll leave the command in the description below for you to copy and paste it and try it out for yourself. So, um, when we pull the lever, why is it still unable to summon? I don't understand. Maybe we'll try a different item. What is happening? How come it's not able to summon an item? Uh, let me check. Um, I'll, I'll see you guys when I figure out the problem with this command. A few moments later. Okay, guys, I'm back and I found out the problem. It was because that uh, word says count. 
colon one apparently count had to be capitalized or else it wouldn't work so yeah now i've got it working when we pull the lever it's the arrows and it's doing them. so yep we got that working so now we're going to type in a different item and we're going to try fireballs or i think it's pronounced fire charges Not sure what that item is called. I'm pretty sure it's called fire charge. Yeah, fire charge. I wonder if I could summon that item. Need to try fire underscore charge. See if that works. Oh, there we go. That works. So yeah, shooting out infinite fire zones. And look how look how far it's you sound like. Like it some of them reached all the way over here. Which is actually impressive. So let me do weather rain real quick. At least to get rid of some of it. Yeah, that probably will do. So yeah, that is pretty much how you do infinite dispenser commands in Minecraft. And you can probably do the same thing with like anything that is not like a projectile item. Like, for say, diamond. And like I said, you can make this into an infinite generator which only spews out like different types of ores and stuff like that. And probably, probably needs to be diamond. There we go, that's what we did. And look, we got infinite diamond. Yeah, diamond is the game. So yeah, that is pretty much how this command works. And also how you make without him or at least keep going and that ladies and gentlemen is going to wrap up for today's video if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more command block tutorials like this make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss a video apart from that guys thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye